Hello all you beautiful people and welcome to today's daily relic update. Today we'll be looking at the most four recent relics that have been announced. The Guardian Relic, the Weapon Master Relic, the Fire Sail Relic, and the Ruinous Power Relic. If you end up enjoying today's video, think about supporting the channel by hitting that like button, subscribe button, or turning on that bell notification icon. The first relic we'll be looking at today will be the Ruinous Power Relic, which was spoiled on November 13th. I do want to make a note here that this is the only relic we've seen that has been spoiled and that is purple, and Jagex has hinted at allowing other relics to potentially be swapped, so I'm wondering if this color has any correlation to this. If players take this relic, they will unlock the Ruinous Power prayer book. These were prayers that were eventually scrapped from design because they were viewed as too powerful for the main game, which honestly makes them a great addition to leagues this year. In total, there are 24 prayers unlocked with this relic, and we will be going down all of them. These prayers are incredibly strong, and almost all of them have some amazing uses. The first one we will be going over is the Rejuvenation Prayer. This restores players' hit points at a rate of three times the normal speed. The Ancient Strength Prayer boosts the player's attack and strength by 20%. The Ancient Sight boosts the player's range attack and strength by 20%. And the Ancient Will boosts the player's magic attack by 20%. These three boost prayers will have immediate use and will greatly increase DPS this leagues and have pretty low requirements at 61, 62, and 63. The protect item prayer keeps an extra item on death, which is just like in the normal prayer book. Ruinous Grace will be absolutely useless this league as it drains prayer points while running instead of run energy. Since we have unlimited run energy, it won't really be used. Dampen Magic protects players from magic attacks by 100% or 40% in PvP but increases all their damage taken by 10%. Dampen Range protects players from range attacks by 100% or 40% in PvP, but increases all their damage taken by 10%. Dampen Melee protects players from melee attacks by 100% or 40% in PvP, but also increases all other damage taken by 10%. Trinitas increases melee accuracy and strength by 15%, range attack and range strength by 15%, and magic attack by 15%. This is pretty good for PvP and other fights where you're constantly swapping between gear. Berserker causes boosted combat stats to last 50% longer. Purge reduces the player's and opponent's prayer points by 33% of damage dealt, which I don't think will be too useful in League since PvP is going to be irrelevant since all players keep all items on death. Metabolize allows players to attack one tick earlier after eating a piece of food after 25 ticks or 15 seconds of being activated. Rebuke increases recoil damage by 50%. Vindication heals the player by 25% of their base prayer level if they fall below 10% health, draining their prayer points fully. Decimate boosts attack by 25% and strength by 27%. Annihilate boosts range attack by 25% and range strength by 27%. And Vaporize boosts magic attack by 25% and magic damage by 4%. Fumus Vow causes the attacks that inflict poison damage to deal that damage instantly instead. Umbra's Vow causes attacks to drain 5% of the opponent's defense, up to 15% of their level. Cure's Vow heals 3 hit points and drains 3 prayer points upon killing a target. Glacier's Vow causes attacks to drain 5% of the opponent's magic, up to 15% of their base level. Wrath causes players to deal damage up to 25% of the player's base prayer level to targets in a 5x5 radius upon death. And the last prayer here, and definitely the best one, is Intensify, which gives a 40% accuracy in all combat styles. These prayers will absolutely be used for those wanting to speedrun tasks and complete some of those master level tasks that have time requirements. The boost to accuracy and damage outclasses the normal prayer book for sure. The next relic we will be going over is the Fire Sail Relic, which was spoiled on November 12th. If a player takes this relic, all items players can buy from shops will be free as long as they can be bought with coins. These items will also be bought noted. Shop items with a stock of 0 cannot be bought, and if a shop has a stock of 1, it is limited to 1 item per buy action. This might have some practical uses for making money and buying supplies for skills such as smithing and crafting. The Weapon Master Relic was spoiled on November 10th. Players who pick this relic will have 100% accuracy with special attacks and can sacrifice hit points for additional special attacks. This will prove incredibly useful for raids and other PVM activities. The last relic we will discuss today is the Guardian Relic, which was spoiled on November 9th. Players will receive a unique horn that summons an exceptionally powerful ally for the player. The Guardian has a max hit of 15. This can also be used alongside Thralls. And despite not having guaranteed hits, the Guardian still has a very high accuracy with a flat accuracy roll of 45,000. The Guardian can use all three combat styles and will change their attack styles to whichever is best to use against its current target. The Guardian can also potentially deal area of effect damage to up to 9 different targets. 
The summon lasts for 30 minutes at a time and has no cooldown, and can be instantly resummoned. The Guardian can be summoned wherever, whenever, except for locations where items are restricted. The Gauntlet is the only exception to this rule, and therefore can have the Guardian summoned within. Gender of the Guardian can also be toggled. This relic seems pretty powerful, so I'm looking forward to seeing what other relics will be in this tier. This might be a relic I end up taking depending on what other relics are in that tier. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Special shout out to my channel members Tom and Father Duo. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and I can't wait to see all of you in leagues.